Hey there, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask on Amazon. Today we are looking at disposable face mask by Everwin Precision. Autobots, transform and roll out. I don't know. Let's put in the clamper and see what happens. Everwin, is that, what, Everwin Precision, what does that sound like? The name of like a, like, a, like one of those car audio stores? You know, never been in one of those. I always want to though. My cars always come with audio, so I don't need to go. Who goes in those places? This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We're shooting thousands, hundreds of thousands, of tiny little particles at 0.1 microns into this mask to see if it will protect you. And I, I can't guarantee that it will or not based on the outcome of this test. I am not a scientist. This is a lab coat that someone bought for me. I didn't even buy it myself. I don't know how to buy things. Looking at Everwind Precision FDA 510K mask. Whoa, whoa, making some claims here. ASTM level three. Okay, the thing is, is that like, I, that's not what, what arrived. So I'm not sure that this is correct. Like this mask box is not the same as the box that we're talking about. It is similar. Like you can, you can see the, so this one says medical procedure mask. But look at that, the graphics are like the same. See that, the three ply graphics? This one's disposed, so I think this is like, this is like the light version. So if, if it doesn't hit 98%, uh, which it needs to, um, then you know we're not gonna hold them too accountable, but same manufacturer, Everwood Precision. Look at that, that is really nice. So it's full, uh, almost full tang uh, nose wire there. That's good. That's good. I could tell it was going to break, but like, that's pretty good. The um, spun bond is a little cheap though. Cause it's like cloudy. Can you see that? It looks like a, looks like the Da Vinci painting, you know, with the, the is it Da Vinci? Michelangelo, the cloud, the, the guy, he's naked. He's touching God. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Right, let's try it on the face. Yeah. It's the, the, the Michelangelo guy for sure. Sistine Chapel. Oh, that's great. Actually, I'm going to call this smell the Sistine Chapel. Never been there, but it seems like it would smell like this. <laughs> All right, pretty well. The construction is really nice. Um, but the spun bond, which is the outer layer of the mask, I could tell is cheap. Um, it could have been when it was made at the height of the pandemic. But let's see what the machine says. That's why you're here. 91.355. Now, the listing that we found was for their medical procedure mask. This one that showed up was for their disposable mask. And in China, that's a very important distinction. So this is a different mask than the one that's being advertised on here. And if this is a 510K mask, 510K is the basically the top kind of mask. There's probably only like 300 companies in the world that have a 510K from the FDA. It's the best type of surgical mask that you can get and they would be kicked off that list if they would have that. So I think what happened is this is a pandemic mask. This is maybe their first version and then they went and made a better one, I hope. I kinda wanna buy this and see it though. Um, but yeah, this is not a good number. 91.355, what was the breathability on 34. it? 34 Pascals, that's super breathable. That's like a record. We've been getting great numbers on those. So yeah, I wouldn't use this mask. I mean, it's great construction. The spun bond's not great. I don't even know if they make it anymore. I don't even know if you can buy this. I don't know how we got it. I don't know how it showed up here. I wouldn't use it anyway, is what I'm saying, because 91's not ideal. But in a pinch, in a pandemic, ooh, pretty good mask. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you. And uh, running a little competition. If you saw this drop within the last 24 hours, just write a comment. Trust me, it can be anything. Cat on the keyboard, whatever. Uh, I love you, Lloyd. You're so great. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Whatever. You know, I'm not going to put words in your mouth. But anyway, uh, and check out that link up there because we're running a competition. Could, could win something. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow, 10 a.m., bright and early. Actually, it's not very early or bright, but, uh, you know, I'll be there at 10 in your inbox.